time it is and the, and the, and the times that we're setting in uh, and I'll give you I'll give you an illustration and, 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 and I've been kind of complaining to God I know nobody else in here ever does this but I, I sometimes I whine I whine to God you know well, God, you showed me all this stuff. I wrote a book called uh, uh, Nostradamus, Saddam Hussein, Armageddon, and I wrote another book called The Storm. And I've been complaining. That's a long time ago. I wrote them books, and I've been kind of complaining and and uh, whining to the Lord. And, and anyway, I, I was thinking, because I've been thinking about it, I said, well, if, if what you've told me, Lord, is true, then the Antichrist has got to be somewhere somewhere on the horizon. I don't know where, don't know when and all that stuff. And uh, and I've been kind of complaining to him and whining to him about about that and uh, and then Peyton comes up to me and I don't I don't talk to this pe- about people to this about anybody really cuz they think you're crazy. So anyway, so so anyway, um, uh, uh, Peyton comes up to me and says the Lord had give her a, a vision, or uh, or was telling her something. Go ahead, Peyton. Won't you tell tell them exactly what the Lord told you? So, I actually was not praying about the end times, and I won't get into the logistics of it. But I was praying for Bob Larson, and and, and when I was petitioning the Lord on, on, on account of what He had told me, He said. The spirit of Antichrist is in the courts of heaven seeking permission, seeking a legal right to reveal the man of uh, the man of sin, the Antichrist. Now, 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 listen. She said that if you've been reading any of Robert Henderson's books about the courts of heaven. It's a pretty phenomenal movement that I think that God's doing now. But anyway, she said, and she tells me that the the the, uh, the Antichrist spirit is in the courts of heaven, seeking to reveal the actual Antichrist to the earth. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, how, how did she know that? I didn't tell her anything about that. How would she know that? And so when you think about it, let me let me say this. If you, if you follow what's going on in the Middle East, uh, many leaders in the world think that there's going to be a global conflict come out of this stuff happening over there if they don't get it resolved here pretty quick. Uh, and, and so I just want to let people know that hey, we're right at the door. We're right at the door. Now I don't know. Might be next week, next month, might be tomorrow, might be the day, might be next year, two years, whatever. But we're right at the door. And, and I share this with you to let you know that what what like Sister Blake was talking about while going her testimony it, 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 it is with just to be thankful that we have God and that he's in our life and that we have his presence. And let me tell you this, and not to worry about nothing or anything because God is going to take care of us. Amen. God's Amen. got it all under control and we belong to him. And, 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 and I think this world is fixing to get shaken uh, pretty quick. I don't know if, when it's going to happen, but it's gonna, he's going to get shaken. The world's going to get shaken pretty fast, and, and I think that 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 if you notice, if you've watched the news, the whole world, and even here in America, the whole world's turning against America and Israel. The entire right. world yep. is turning against Israel and America. Right. Even the kids in America are turning against America. So anyway, so I I want to I, I want to uh, open this up in prayer, and uh, 
and uh, and then I'm gonna share this deal. This message is not one. It, it, the, the name of this message is alternatives to despair. It's something to kind of build us up and pick us up because we do hear a lot of bad things uh, going on in the world. But I want to try to build you up. But but I just want to pray right now, and then and then I'll. The lesson ain't real long, and it, it's pretty positive. Father, Lord, as, as as my granddaughter, when she laid her hands on me today, dear God, I could feel your fire. I could feel fire coming out of her hand, oh God. And I felt like that my head was lit, actually lit on fire, God. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that that same fire, Lord, would touch my lips, oh God. And Lord, that we might be able to say, dear God, what thus saith the Lord, oh God, that we might be able to to build your people up. We might be able to comfort them. We might be able to lead them. We might be able to tell them uh, about your ways and about your the, uh, uh, the, what's going on, dear God. And Lord, that if, the greatest thing that you've told me is not to fear not, oh God. Amen. To fear not. And Amen. Father, I ask this blessing upon your people in the name of Jesus. Yes. In, uh, go to uh, Psalms 37. And uh, the, uh, the name of this sermon is Alternatives to Despair. Yep. You know, if you, look at, if you look at what's going on in the world... I mean, if you watch the news, man, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised that some of the news guys ain't committing suicide. They're saying policemen everywhere in L.A., four policemen have committed suicide. Really? Because how bad it is. Yeah, just how bad it is. They, they, they're saying police, like Chicago, or no, it's New York has, they have 5,000 less policemen than they've had. They need really? 5,000 people. We got Ooh. cops. That's a lot of cops. That's a lot of policemen. Yeah. For a city that size, that's yeah. a lot of policemen. Yeah, and, 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 and just everything, just, it, but it's going, it's going kind of haywire. But anyway, uh, in Psalms 37.1, it's alternative to despair. Uh, it's a, a psalm of David. He says, fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither, thou, uh, neither be thou envious against workers of iniquity. Verse 2, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. On that first verse, that word fret is a state of anxiety or worry. Okay? And when you look at things going on in the world, you look at the, the economy, you look at the way money's going, you look at the, uh, uh, the things and how things are getting real high in price and stuff like that. You, 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 we have a tendency to panic and we have a tendency to fret. But God is saying, fret not, uh, fret not uh, evil doers. A lot of people, there's a lot of evil doers out there. I think the tax man is an evil doer. I think, I, I, th I really do. I think that a lot of these people, because, you know, they're just taxing the people uh, too much. Uh, and I think there, the ta that there's a lot of evil workers out there, but it says uh, fret is a state of anxiety or worry. Fret not, evildoers. They soon shall be cut down. God's got uh, everybody's number. Believe me, everybody's number. Yeah. And it says, rest in the Lord, wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because him who prospereth in his way, because the man... Uh, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. In verse 9 it says, For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord shall inherit the earth. People, we're that generation, that chosen generation. I want you to stop and think for a minute. Every holy man and every holy woman throughout time from the beginning of time to this day has longed to live in these days. Mm -hmm. Has longed to live in the days we're in. So th that's why I'm saying, man, th this is the most exciting time in all, ever to be a Christian. The most exciting time. It says uh, uh, verse 3 in Psalms 37, Trust in the Lord and do good so shall that dwell in the land. 
uh, uh, so shall that dwell in the land. Trust in the Lord and do good. Let me tell you something. The world's doing evil stuff. They're lying, they're cheating, they're stealing, they're conniving, there's always something going on. But the Lord says, trust in the Lord and do good. Yeah. Yep. And everybody in this room, I believe, does good. Amen? Amen. Amen. It says, uh, go to Isaiah 1, chapter, uh, chapter 1, verses 16. Uh, and it says, uh, Wash you, make you clean, put away evil, the evil of your doings from before my eyes, cease to do evil. Here's what the, that's the instruction from the Lord. It says, learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as the wool. Now here's the key verse in verse 19 of Isaiah 1. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat of the good of the land. If you're willing and obedient. you got to be willing and obedient to eat of the good of the land. And going back to Psalms 37 verse 4. It says, Delight also thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of thine heart. Mm -hmm. Delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. I'm going to go over here to uh, Psalms. Uh, hang on a second. Can I say something? Go ahead, sister. Say so, whatever you want. I, I felt impressed from the Lord to say this too, but, you know, you know how a lot of, like, my prayers and stuff get answered? Mm -hmm. I felt like the Lord was saying that. He said, I will do for you what I do for her if you will pay the price and if you will delight in me. Yeah. If you will Boy. press hard mm -hmm. and, and press in and give your cares to him and yeah. delight in him, then he will answer your prayers like he answers mine. Amen. Yeah, that, that scripture in Psalms 37, 4 talks about delight thyself in the Lord. And he shall give you the desires of your heart. I, I'm going, it, 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 there's a reference to that scripture in Psalms 104, 34. And it says, my meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. Amen. You know, yesterday, I, I, when I walk, I... The only time I really meditate and pray is when I'm walking. I don't know why. It's just good. It's easy for me to do that then. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just making sure it's still recording. Okay. It says, uh, My meditation of him shall be sweet, and I will be glad in the Lord. I just think about, thinking about the Lord walking, it's just so sweet. I, I, can't, I can't explain it. It, it, I, I've had different experiences with the Lord and stuff like that, but I'm just saying, let me tell you something. Do you know that he thinks about you? Now listen to this. He thinks about you every second of the day. Mm -hmm. yep. God yep. thinks of you every second. Well, you're saying, well, how can he do that? There's over 8 billion people in the world. And there's over billions and billions of people that have come and gone. And he knows all their sins. And he knows everything they've ever done. How can he keep up with all that? God thinks about you. Think about it. Every second of the day. If you think I'm not, if you think I'm not telling the truth, do something wrong. Yeah. Yep. Or start entertaining bad thoughts. Mm -hmm. Or say yeah. start saying something bad about somebody. Right. Yeah. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Okay, it says, go to uh, 1 Peter 1, 1 8. He has an infinite mind. He has, uh, his ways and his thoughts are higher than ours. Yeah, yeah, I mean, 
how can you know? Now I'm I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell on myself here. So you guys might think I, you might laugh and you might think it's funny. But but for a long time I used to get kind of mad at the Lord. I mean, not really mad at him, but I kind of I was jealous. And here's why I was jealous. I would say, Lord, I want your hundred percent undivided attention on me all the time. Have you ever felt like that? And now, you, you don't have to raise your hand. But I've thought that way. I'm thinking, and you know, have you ever seen a little kid, he don't want to share something with somebody? Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of like that sometimes with the Lord. But, but, but I'm just telling you, that's the way I think God wants us to be because that's the way he is with us. Amen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why when, 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 when the children of Israel, if you look through the, through, the, through the Old Testament, they'd always go wondering. Even though no matter, even during the times of great blessings, they would always wander off right. from the Lord. Always wonder, mm-hmm. always wondering. And, 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 and that was something that's always bothered the Lord. Yeah. And so, so that's the, he wants us to give him our undivided attention. Right, and and I can't hardly go through any time of the day without thinking about the Lord. And I know that a lot of people like that's in here too. Okay, go with me to back to Psalms thirty seven. Mm-hmm. What was in First Peter? Huh? First oh first Peter. Peter, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, my bad. I've been beat up a lot. Okay. Okay, it says first Peter one eight it says whom having not seen ye love in whom though now you see him not yet believing uh, yea rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory we don't see him we've never seen him I seen him once in a vision okay but I mean for the most part we just don't see him every day uh-uh. okay okay and now now I'm sorry now now go back to uh Psalms 37, verse 5. Thank you, Pastor Judy. Well, you're just quite welcome. Huh? You're just quite welcome. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also into him, and he shall bring it to pass. Uh, uh, commit thy way unto the Lord, and he shall bring it to pass. You know what? I commit my ways to the Lord. Yeah. Everything about me, I try to commit it to the Lord. Amen. Everything I do, every place I go, everything I, everything I try to think about, it, it, it's kind of like my wife. It's, it's my wife. When I think about my wife, I think about, I weigh every word I say to her. I weigh every thought I have about her. And I will not entertain bad stuff. Good. I've always done that. God's always done that. He's done that with me since I've been a little uh, since I've been a little kid. Uh that's the way I feel about my wife. Well, the Lord showed me that's the way he feels about us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But he also want would like for us to feel that way about him. About him. You see what I'm saying? And, and I'm not saying this to, to, to shame anybody or anything like that. But but it, all this is for is he wants to have, he's more interested in an intimate relationship with us than we are with him. Mm-hmm. But I think he's going to change that. Let me tell you something, folks. I think we're going to start seeing some phenomenal things happening on the earth, in the earth and, and, and with God's people. I think we're going to start seeing some phenomenal things. I think you're going to start seeing some some miracles, signs, and wonders. And I think it's going to be all to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, it says, where was that? Okay. Uh, 137. Okay. Psalms 55. My bad. 55.22. It says, cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall know... Never suffer the righteous to be moved. God will never suffer the righteous 
to be moved. Amen. You're, let me tell you what makes us righteous before God. The blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. And our relationship and our fellowship with Him. Amen? Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, uh, go with me to uh, Matthew. Now give me a second. I'm... Um, Matthew 6 some of these scriptures are pretty uh, pretty common 6 uh, 625 and it says therefore I say unto you take no thought of your life of what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, or what you shall put on, is not the life more than meat, and the body more than raiment. God is saying, I don't want us, He doesn't want us to worry about anything. Amen. Yeah, we're always probably fretting. I, I know I fret about something all the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. About this or that or that or this. Mm -hmm. or, am I making this person mad? Or am I making this person happy? Or You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, so go with me to Philippians uh, 4. And these are pretty... Uh, Philippians 4, verse 6. May I interject something right quick? Uh-huh, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So when I, when, I, uh, when I listen to... In, and we can all do this like with the news, but like when I used to listen to the 700 Club... Right, right. And when I listen to, you know, the... the I'll just be blunt. The true crime stuff I listen to. Mm -hmm. When I see something that that's an injustice or wrong or something that needs to be prayed for, I do I do like King Hezekiah, where he poured the letter, he put the letter out before the Lord, and I say this because that you know, that's one way that you can cast your burden on the Lord is when you see something in the news. You can pray pray in the spirit as you're watching the news and just ask the Lord to, to, to carry that burden. Yes. Amen. Amen. Okay, uh okay, Philippians four, six and seven it says, Be careful for nothing but every but but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be uh be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your minds through Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, I mean, you know, <coughs> we have got to learn to trust God. Yeah. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how bad it is. We have got to trust God. Amen. Like Sister Blake is with her husband. That's a that's a that's a great testimony. Okay, uh, Psalms thirty seven and seven says, "Rest in the Lord, wait patiently for Him. Fret not thyself because of him that prospereth in the way, because of the man who bringeth uh, wicked devices to pass." Mm -hmm. uh, verse uh, nine says. The evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord shall inherit the earth. Amen. Those that wait upon the Lord Hallelujah. shall inherit the earth. And I got a bunch of more scriptures and stuff uh, about healing and stuff like that, but I'm not going to read them all. Uh, but 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 I just want to tell you, if the devil's been attacking your mind or attacking your uh, attacking in any way about what's going on or, 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 or about the craziness of this world or whatever, I just want you to put your trust and your peace and your faith in Him. Amen? Amen. Can we do that curse breaking before we... Yeah, you, I'm gonna, I'll, you want me to go ahead and read it off the board? Yeah. Okay, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this curse breaking prayer real fast. Uh, yeah. Oh, you got it here? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh you got a low battery, it says, but that's okay. It's uh, it's it says twenty. It's got twenty percent. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Okay. Yeah. You want me to keep going? Yeah, keep going. Okay. If everyone would pray this with me, uh, uh, just uh, we'll say this prayer in faith to the Lord. 
And, and, and let me read this. If the Holy Spirit is taking on your heart, either you have something that the Spirit has talked to you about or need freedom, you need to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior or both. Pray this prayer authoritatively uh, in no whining tones. Okay, uh, and, and here's the prayer. Father, Father, I believe in my heart, I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that you raised Jesus from the dead. I now call you my Lord and Savior. Forgive all my sins, even as I forgive those who have sinned against me. Satan, I bind you this day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the authority I have in Jesus Christ, I rebuke and destroy the power of every ancestral curse directed against me. I break any and all vows, oath, blood covenants, rituals and ceremonies. I renounce sorcery, witchcraft. False God, false God, false religions, false religions and all the curses of death, and all the curses of death destruction, destruction, suicide, suicide, suicide murder, murder, violence, violence abandonment, 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 rejection, rejection perversion, perversion, infirmity and disease. And, and I declare this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So in doing so, I ask you now, you baptize me in the Holy Spirit and fire, sealing our intimate relationship forever and ever. Amen. Now if you said that prayer and you believe that prayer in your heart, you're a Christian. Amen. 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 Father, we just thank you and ask that, that this word would be sealed in the blood of Christ, sealed in our hearts. Lord, that you would braid it in our heart, in our soul, in our mind. Father, I thank you that you will do your work. Do, you will do wonders, signs and wonders following, Lord, in every life here and in every life that's listening on the podcast. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. Hello, everybody, and I want to thank you for listening to today's, uh, and to this edition of the Design for Victory podcast. This sermon, uh, there's a similar sermon that, that was put out yesterday. I listened to it live on Oasis Church, and it's called... Excuse me. It's called Prophetic, colon. War Eagles Arising. Again, that's prophetic. War Eagles Arising. Uh, By Apostle Tim Sheets on Oasis Church. At Oasis Church. And it, it, it brings out similar points to what Pastor Mickey brought out here today. Actually, this was recorded... This sermon was recorded yesterday. And if you enjoyed this uh, sermon, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe if you're on YouTube. Um, And hit the notification bell. And be sure that when you do, make sure that it says all notifications. And that will ensure that you will get notified when we when we upload a a future video. Also, on Spotify, you'll want to hit see all episodes. And then, uh, on the top, first of all, you'll see the cross, but then down below that, you'll see the like, download, more options. And in the midst of that, you'll see a follow podcast button. Excuse me. And 
you want to hit that, and then to the right of that, I think it is, you want to hit the notifications. I don't know if it's a bell or what it is for the sighted people, but it'll say notifications turned off is what it says on uh, something like that on voiceover. But you'll want to turn that notifications button on, to where you, and that will help you to get notified every time that we post a new, every time we publish a new podcast. So, also, I would encourage you, um, to listen to that sermon from Apostle Tim as well, but also, if you enjoy that, to subscribe, join join me in listening, but anyway, if you have any questions or concerns or comments, write to us. You can go to www.kingdomadvance, K-I-N-G-D-O-M-A-D-V-A-N-C-E dot family dot blog. Excuse me. Again, that's kingdomadvance dot family dot blog, and then hit the menu, and then hit primary. And that will give you uh, down on the very bottom. Oh, no. Um, after you hit primary, you want to hit. Excuse me. Uh, there's Actually, there's two menus. I, I misspoke. And one of the menus is the primary menu. You want to hit that and then hit the About Us page. And down on the bottom of this page... You'll see all the places that you can contact us. I'm going to mention one of those places. It's, uh, excuse me, I just got up. It's Storm Ministries, S-T-O-R-M-M-I-N-I-S-T-R-I-E-S dot com. And there's a contact link also on the home page, there's a Help Our Cause heading. Down below that, you can donate. All donations go to the Homeless Alliance and to our church, to the furtherance of the gospel. I suspect I know what I'm going to be ministering on tomorrow, but I'll be ministering tomorrow night. I'll also be uploading other uh, on YouTube or publishing on the podcast, other videos that, and podcasts that um, I have yet to pub, pub to publish that are already record, recorded that I've ministered, and so um, just feel free to stay tuned. Also, we prayed the curse breaking prayer yesterday, and. So if you're interested, if you if you need deliverance, you can go to justind.com. And he's also got his the pod TBE newsletter and the Frontlines newsletter and podcast and the Blind Exorcist podcast. But also he's got a a book appointment button and that's where you can book an appointment or you can go to db Excuse me, dwjd.org. dwjd.org. Once you, once it, your browser redirects you to that page, then you'll want to hit on the click here link where it says if you want to get deliverance from one of our inner healing and deliverance teams or our ministry, ministers, click here. You'll want to hit that. And then on when it went, it'll redirect you to another page, which will spell out the different regions and what states or countries, whatever are in those regions. And once you find your region, down on the bottom, there's four buttons. Um, one one for each region, and you'll want to click on that button that coincides with whatever your region is. When you do that, it'll redirect you to another page, which will be the form. It'll ask you for your name, email, fo- phone number, and a message. And once you tap, type on that, type that message, hit submit, 
And, it, of course, your next page will tell you this, what I'm about to say, but all, um, depending on what, basically, they'll, they'll contact you within the next 24 to 48 business hours. And so, thank you all very much for listening to this podcast once again. May this find, find you well, and God bless. Oh, and one more th- thing. The Blind Exorcist podcast talks about, you know, can Christians have demons and different topics related to exorcism. And you can find The Blind Exorcist wherever, on YouTube and wherever you find your podcasts. God bless.